Hello, hello. Thank you for joining me here today. I hope that you are doing well and thank you so much for your patience. While the library was closed and I struggled to get these things posted, we're going to first do the two book reviews I didn't get posted. One of them might have already posted. Today we're talking about a Fate Inked in Blood by Daniel L. Jensen. It is a fantasy romance steeped in Nordic mythology. And the book itself is beautiful. It has metallic blue sprayed edges. It has an embossed cover and illustrations at the beginning of every chapter. It's one of the more beautiful books that I own. But let's go on to the story. Freya is stuck in a loveless marriage to a dishonest fishmonger. While her brother lives the life that she dreamed of, he's a warrior serving for the local Jarl, which is the equivalent of the Lord. But Freya has a secret that she cannot disclose to anyone. Her brother knows the secret, but if anyone else were to find out, it would put her life in danger. You see if Freya possesses a drop of a goddess's blood, and because of this, she can repel any attack. She's the shield maiden. Her husband discovered her secret and betrayed her to the Jarl, Snorri. Freya has no idea that either of them know. And when she encounters the Jarl, he forces her to fight one of his warriors, Bjorn. Believing her life is in danger, Freya defends herself and reveals herself as the shield maiden. And her life is about to change. Her marriage is dissolved and she's promised to the Jarl, who has heard a prophecy that whoever controls the shield maiden will unite all of Skaland, their people. Snorri believes that if he's married to Freya, the prophecy is going to come true for him. He also believes that Bjorn, his son, is meant to be the shield maiden's protector. Serving as Freya's protector means that they're often together. You know where this is going, don't you? Some loyal to the Jarl don't trust Bjorn. As a child, he was kidnapped and lived with Snorri's enemy. Many believe Bjorn is still loyal to that enemy. To make the prophecy come true, Snorri plots and plans with his wife and other lords. But all doesn't go according to plan. I quite enjoyed the Nordic mythology inspired aspect of the story and trying to figure out how the prophecy is going to play out in the story. It's the first of a duology. So we should have answers when the second book is published. Be aware that it is quite romancy, so it's not just a fantasy story that has a bit of a romance in it. It feels like a romance and has the language of a romance, and it's set in a fantasy world. And while this isn't my normal read, I will continue with the second book. I really want to see how it all plays out, and I do have a secret hope for it, which I won't mention here. For a similar read, I'm going to suggest another series. Some people consider it a young adult series, some people consider it a new adult series. It's the A Court of Thorns and Roses series by Sarah J. Moss. I have the third book here because that's the one I'm reading next. Both of these books have a similar feel and a similar level of romance involved in the story. And there we are. I hope that you enjoyed this look at A Fate Inked in Blood by Daniel L. Jensen. And I hope that if you're interested, you give it a read. We have a lot coming your way this summer with the return of Explore and Create and June Reads and the reviews that go along with that to start us out. I am glad you were here with me today and I hope that you will join me again soon. Thank you so much and I hope that you have an amazing summer and amazing reads. Thanks!